Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. It's nice, early in the morning, no boats out on the water yet, and we're going fishing. I'm pretty excited. Um, I've been I've been finding a lot of fish really, really shallow lately. Today, I want to see if I can push off a little bit and find them a little bit deeper, some bigger ones, hopefully a little bit deeper. But before that, we're going to start off with a popper. <laughs> it's absolutely slick calm out. There's a little bit of like a, like a mist on top of the water because the water's warmer than it was outside last night. And popper time. Okay. Let's put the jerk bait on real quick. There you go. I. 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 <laughs> what a large mouth, guys. What a large mouth. <laughs> First fish of the morning. Huge. Absolutely giant. <laughs> oh. Absolute Mondo. They are in the grass, guys. They are in the grass. A hundred percent in the grass. Nice one. So I knew eventually the next couple of days or so they're gonna push off the bank. Cause I've been catching them in like a foot of water. I knew they're gonna push off the bank into that first, you know, set of grass. And uh that guy kind of confirms it a little bit. I do want to catch a couple more just to make sure. But if they're in the grass, it's going to be fun. This is like the first grass bed from the bank, from their spawning grounds. Like this whole year has been a little screwed up with spawning just because we're so late. But they're uh, finally starting to push off a little bit, which means I can uh, I can get them in, uh, in some grass. Yes. Out of the grass. Wow. That was like a totally uncalculated cast too, little guy. I do seriously think though they have pushed off and they're starting, you know, to get into their summer patterns. I don't think they're in their summer patterns. I think they're in that transition. And I think there's a couple big ones in the grass. The issue is, first of all, finding... One second, let's, let's wait for these guys to pass. The issue is finding, number one, healthy grass. Number two, grass that is tall enough to really, you know, I feel like would have sufficient cover for the bass to actually go into. Because it's still early in the season. We had a really, really cold spring, so a lot of the grass is not up yet believe it or not. So I'm trying to find good grass. Oh, I missed him. Oh no, I missed him. I'm trying to find good grass. And hopefully catch some fish and not miss them. <laughs> so we just spent the last half an hour or so just graphing, just looking. Um, I don't think they've pushed off deep yet. I also don't know just why I'm out here out deep. We will see. Oh, that's a bite and that's a miss. A bite and a miss. This is key to have high-vis line. You would see your line jump. 
even if your rod isn't sensitive, your line jumps and you'll see it. That was a bite. That was a little bite, though. I don't really like that kind of bite. Let's see what side scan says. Yeah, we're casting that way. That way. We're still really deep. I don't think they're going to be this deep, but you never know. You never, never know. There we go, guys. Small mouth, it looks like. Make sure she stays pinned. It's a good fish. Not a bad fish. Oh, she dodged the net. I'm trying to take my time here. This is a really, really light hook and really, really light line. She's not fighting that much, but oh, Jesus, come on. There we go. Oh, that is not a bad fish, guys exactly what we're looking for all right guys here she is not a heavy fish at all nice brown color to her exactly what we're looking for let's put her back into the water back down she goes so that's the frame of fish that we're looking for for smallmouth um, once they stop looking all streamlined and uh, a little bit like like a, like a tiger pattern when they start turning that kind of brown color I find on this egg at least the big ones are that kind of color so um, I also find they roam in like, a, like packs like like three or four fish so that fish may have been like a smaller one or a medium sized one even the bigger one of a pack that I ended up catching. So I'm going to stay here. I spot locked kind of, not really. So hopefully I can find a couple more fish in the area, but that's the, that's the fish we're looking for, especially small mouth, that dark brown color. That's what I like to see. That brown, dark brown color is what I like to see. It's probably because they're out deep, to be honest, like the color differentiation, but um, some brown fish. Oh man, I, it's been a very long time since I got on a good small mouth bite here. I'm sure there's some more smallmouth in the area, hopefully a couple bigger ones. She had she had the body to be bigger, but she was really, really skinny. I think she was eating on crayfish. Because at this time of year they get dark and the top of her mouth, like like her throat was dark, like stained. So I'm assuming that's what they're eating. But um yeah. Feel pretty good about that one. Good thing I uh, spent some time grabbing. All right, guys. So that is a wrap on today's video. We got some prepping to do. Or I guess not even prepping, just some cleaning to do. Uh, I'm gonna vacuum the carpet because it has to be vacuumed. Uh, some rod and reel maintenance, gotta put new line on some reels, switch some reels out. But um, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We did find a couple, I know I know that one smallmouth meant that there's more big ones around there, I just couldn't get them going. Um, it, those, the, those smallmouth that run in packs like that, I find them really, really hard to... First of all, find, because they are roaming around, and two, to get going. Um, I was pretty lucky to catch that one, so I know that they're there. But uh, that's where there should be anyways, but I just couldn't get the other ones going, unfortunately. But that's for another day, I guess. Other than that, I'm going to leave the link to my flipping combo down in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one.